हाय हेलो वेलकम टू माय सेकंड क्लास ऑन न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटिट्यूशन रिएक्शंस न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटिट्यूशन रिएक्शंस सो गिवन आवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट एस एन टू रिएक्शंस इन द लास्ट क्लास If were to measure the rate of reaction of tertiary butyl bromide with water, we would expect a relatively slow contribution reaction, since water is a pure, pure nucleophile, and tertiary butyl bromide is uh, sterically hindered to attack by a nucleophile. However, we actually discovered that reaction is surprisingly fast. It is in uh, fact over our million times faster than the reaction of methyl bromide in a compound with uh, no steric hindrance with water. So clearly the reaction must be taking place by a mechanism different from the top SN2 reaction. So what is tertiary butyl bromide's uh, nature in water when it is a poor nucleophile? So as we have seen, a study of chemical kinetics of a reaction is one of the first step undertaken when investigating the mechanism of the reaction. If we were to investigate the kinetics of the reaction of tertiary butyl bromide with water, so what is tertiary butyl bromide? This is tertiary butyl bromide this is nothing but tertiary butyl bromide so if it is unites with water if it unites with the water in a substitution nucleophilic reaction then what is going to form an alcohol definitely will be formed tertiary butyl alcohol this is nothing but tertiary butyl alcohol this is a tertiary butyl bromide tertiary butyl bromide plus you know this br is a leaving group that will become br minus and also water will be removed some water, some uh, H plus ion will be removed. Okay, H plus ion will be removed. So here, what is the rate of reaction? What is the rate of reaction? Rate is given as directly proportional to the substrate. Substrate is nothing but uh, alkyl halide. Alkyl halide or tertiary butyl bromide in this case. So, because of the rate of reaction depends upon the concentration of only one reactant, it is a first start reaction. An SN1 reaction has two steps actually in this. The carbon halogen bond breaks down. Here, this is carbon halogen bond which will break down heterolytically with the the halogen retaining the previously shared electron pairs. In the second step, what will happen is the nucleophile, whatever is the nucleophile, reacts rapidly with the carbocation form in the first step. So, what is the step one here? Step one is nothing but there is a formation of carbocation when carbon halogen bond separated out heterolytically this fission is nothing but heterolytic fission heterolytic fission then we will get a carbocation we will get a carbocation as you know this is a carbon positive charge so with uh, three other alkyl groups methyl groups CS3 here CS3, here also CS3. Now Br minus is went along with the bond pair of electrons present in the alkyl halide. 
so this is our uh, living group and this is the carbo cation this is tertiary carbo cation in this case it is uh, highly stable it is stable we have taken this is uh, alkyl bromide nothing but uh, tertiary butyl bromide this is what you can say is the first step of the reaction coming to the second step what is second step is the nucleophile attack on the carbo cation in the step 2 whatever the nucleophile is there that will attacks the carbo cation it's a positively charged carbo cation carbon with positive charge is carbo cation and the nucleophile whatever nucleophile we are taking water in this reaction having oxygen two lone pair of electrons and one of the lone pair of electron will uh, fall onto this carbo cation forms the first initial product is nothing but this positive charge will be transferred to oxygen there will be oxygen forms uh, there is a triple bond three bonds with oxygen will be present in this case that's why oxygen will acquire positive charge and after this it will undergo elimination process of a proton that means you will get a final product so what is the final product is alcohol so here ch3 like we said earlier h plus ion removed we are also h plus ion got removed this is uh, the case in which oxygen is having two pairs of electrons so on the second step what happened nucleophile reacts rapidly this is a fast reaction but in the first step the process is a slow process first step the process is nothing but slow process attack of nucleophile in the second step uh, with the carbo cation formed in the first step which is in the second step is a fast step from the above observations that the rate of sn1 reaction depends only upon the concentration of rx rx means alkyl halide you know that the first step is slow this we will call it as a ray determining step simply in a short cut manner we can call it as rds because nucleophile is not involved in this uh, ray determining step its concentration has no effect on the rate of reaction so nucleophile is not there in the rate equation okay so if you look at the reaction coordinate diagram then you will come to know we are able to see why increasing the rate of uh, the second step will not make s1 reaction go any faster okay we will see that one okay let us see this uh, whatever we said about uh, the energy diagram energy profile diagram in this the coordinate diagram whatever the progress of the reaction on x axis we have taken x axis and delta g not free energy we have taken on the y axis we have different peaks are there there are about uh, three peaks came mainly the first peak we can call that is nothing but the alkyl halide okay that is started involved into the reaction and in this carbo cation is formed in the slow step of sn1 reaction because tertiary carbo cation is more stable than therefore easy to form than a secondary carbo cation which in turn is more stable to form than primary carbo cation so what we understand from this one is uh, tertiary alkyl halides are more reactive than secondary alkyl halides which in turn more reactive than primary alkyl halides in sn1 reaction so this is the peak first peak whatever we obtained that is uh, the alkyl halide reacts undergo cleavage forms 
carbocation that is a stable carbocation its and uh, free energy value is less means it is stable and after that it starts joining with the halogen halide attack is uh, water halogen and water halogen is separated out and uh, water is nucleophile it starts coming on to the carbocation that time energy here rises up to this level then after this carbocation changed to oxonium ion where energy is less of that leaving this h plus ion there is some energy again increased here there is another one so of that we got uh, final product with stability with lower energy values okay now we understand relative rates of alkyl halides in sn1 reaction relative rates of alkyl halides in sn1 reaction as you know tertiary alkyl halides uh, from this uh, example we can understand this uh, tertiary alkyl halides tertiary alkyl halides are said to be more reactive than secondary alkyl halides which are in turn more reactive than primary alkyl halides primary alkyl halides after that we discussed about uh, the alkyl halide methyl halides methyl halides so actually primary carbocation and methyl carbocation are also unstable in this case that primary rx and ch3x primary rx and ch3x do not undergo sn1 reactions so these are quite unstable they do not give this reaction give sn1 reaction without any condition okay the very slow reaction reported from ethyl bromide ethyl bromide and methyl bromide in a uh, abjurations in the different kinds of uh, abjurations okay we will move to the next one okay uh, let us see in this we have taken alkyl halide the positively charged carbon of carbocation here whatever is there this is said to be sp2 hybridized as you know that it is sp2 hybridized and the three bonds connected to this carbon are the same plane in the second step of the sn1 reaction what we did is nucleophile can approach either side of the carbocation so this is what we have depicted here represented and there are two types of attacks we have shown one is front side attack one is back side attack of the carbocation attached halogen side so <clears throat> towards the halogen one type of attack opposite to the halogen another type of attack so there is no discussion about halogen now in the case of carbocation very simple this is one direction this is another direction and we have taken nucleophile so let us see the sn1 reaction of the alkyl halide in which leaving group is attached to the chirality center this is chirality center chirality center okay there are some isomers also possible attack of the nucleophile on one side of the planar carbocation forms stereoisomers and attack of the other side produces the other isomers so here we have obtained two types of isomers one is called as inverted configuration means whatever alkyl halide you have taken as it is the structure the opposite to that one the structure is obtained like sn2 mechanism but second uh, case if you observe we got uh, 
retention of configuration as it is similar to that of configuration of alkyl halide we got the product alcohol okay so this is what uh, one of the most interesting thing in this uh, case we will take different examples even if you take uh, a different example like uh, alkyl halide with uh, chiral centers then that can also be represented we will see now so let us see some examples here for sn1 reaction as we discussed the sn1 reaction of an alkyl halide which is uh, the leaving group attached to a chirality here this br is a leaving group attached to the chirality center leads to the formation of two stereoisomers this is chiral center so there are two stereoisomers are formed one is a uh, inverted configuration another one is called detention of configuration okay so let us observe this is a model this is called as you know like the same here we got this we will call it as a retention of configuration retained this we can say it is inverted inverted this is the model example we will take a chemical compound in the second example it is s2 bromobutane with the water assume this is bromobutane here i am taking bromine okay so your products will be it we are only let us see yes to bromo butane i have taken i got two products let me mix up r2 butanol yes to butanol butanol it and here yeah. okay so let us observe in this case this case this is original alkyl halide structure this is inverted one this is inverted after that this one came after the attack of nucleophile retention of configuration came also so it's a mixture of 50 50 percentage of this uh, two butanol or s2 butanol octane see one more example we have that is a cis 1 bromo 4 methyl cyclohexane this is cis 1 bromo 4 methyl cyclohexane i can say one thing the diagram whatever we are showing in the last equation the compound name is cis 1 bromo 4 methyl cyclohexane so in this when cis bromo 1 bromo 4 methyl cyclohexane undergoes this sn1 mechanism there are there is easy method easier way of visualizing this uh, sn1 mechanism is uh, with this cyclic compound obtained okay so in this uh, compound we we got four methyl cyclohexanol this is four methyl cyclo hexanol we got here this is r configuration this is s configuration this is r configuration this is s configuration so it's a mixture of r and s configurations so this is also four methyl cyclo hexanol you observe the shaded portion is nothing but the atom which is present towards observer and dotted one away from the observer so <coughs> back side of this hydrogen bond this carbon oh bond is there so here also the same thing that means when back side attack happened then back side attack happened we will get 
inverted configuration this is nothing but inverted configuration when front side attack happen we will get this type of product called as uh, retention of configuration the configuration is uh, retained so you can understand like this although one might expect that equal amounts of two isomers uh, would form in sn1 reaction but greater amount of inverted product is obtained in most of the cases why because that is stable typically 50 to 70 percent of the product of sn1 reaction is inverted product if the reaction leads to the formation of equal amounts of two products reaction is said to take place with complete resumization and when more of the inverted product is formed the reaction is said to take place with the partial resumization so we can understand that in this inverted configuration percentage is more means that we will call it as partial resumization and if 50 50 percent obtained means uh, then we can call it as complete resumization of the reaction okay let us see this uh, one complication in sn1 reaction mechanism product when the stable alcohol forms then there should be another mechanism involved rearrangement involved in this carbocation that is called as 1 comma 2 methyl shift let us see when we take this type of example that means neopentyl halides if you take this CS3 CH2 I am taking iodine is a good leaving group in this iodine I am taking so <clears throat> I can call this one as 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 dimethyl prop iodide so in saying like that it is very difficult to understand this one so we can call this is neopentyl halide okay so in this I am taking first step of the SN mechanism. Step 1, what will happen in step 1? As you know, in the step 1, there will be formation of carbocation. So, this uh, cleavage happened, heterolytic cleavage. After that, I got this product, that is CH3. CH3, CH3, and this carbon, whatever is there, CH2 carbon that has became positive this is carbocation you can call this is a primary carbocation primary carbocation as you all know that primary carbocation is not stable then in this type of cases it will undergo rearrangement it will undergo rearrangement to tertiary carbocation that rearrangement we will call it as 1 comma 2 methyl shift 1 comma 2 methyl shift here methyl group will go towards this carbocation and whatever this hydrogen is there that will come to this point ok then see how the product will be it is CH3, it is also CH3. You can write this one as hydrogen here. This will become this will become sorry, this will become positive. Sorry. And uh, here this carbon is got satisfied with the uh, a methyl group. Okay. So this is what I can call this is a tertiary carbocation which is stable. So, let us observe. There is a shifting happened. This bond with methyl group went along with this electrons towards the carbocation. So, this is uh, got tertiary carbocation more stable. Now, we got more stable tertiary carbocation in the first step itself. In the first step itself. By taking neopentyl iodide. 
let us see the second uh, one second one as you know this is nothing but attack of nucleophile now nucleophile can easily attack this carbocation which is stable to give stable alcohol that is ch3 we have uh, positively charged here ch2 ch3 now what is the step 2 what is step 2 step 2 is nothing but Attack of nucleophile. Attack of uh, nucleophile that is OH minus. So then we will get the product. First we have CH3. We have CH3 here. This one will become OH after the removal of H plus from water. Okay, so this is CH2, this is CH3. Want to show with water, then one more step will come. Okay, finally we got a product that is uh, tertiary alcohol. What is the name of the compound? Let us see. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. In the second carbon, we have methyl is there. This is 2 methyl. It's nothing but 2 methyl. 2 methyl but 2 or is a stable compound obtained in this uh, example. So, we have such different kinds of interesting aspects are there in this uh, uh, SN1 mechanism. Let us see one more thing. In this mechanism, finally what we understand is nothing but we have a possibility of resumization. There is a possibility of uh, getting inverted configuration along with the retention of configuration. So, in this SN1, we can believe that one thing happened that is the order of reaction is 1. And here we understand one more thing that. Uh, uh, in SN1 reaction, we have the <coughs> partial resumization of the configuration. Resumization also takes place. And mainly the tertiary alkyl halides uh, are said to be, alkyl halides are said to be more reactive in it is SN1 reaction. Nucleophile can be a poor nucleophile uh, in this uh, mechanism. That can be SN1 mechanism. These are the main important uh, traits of SN1 reaction mechanism. We will see the further developments in the mechanisms uh, in the next session.